My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is a Heliberg tent. This is the Solo. This is a first look and preview of this four season tent. This is a very impressive product. A good four season tent is going to cost quite a bit of money. This product certainly does. But for that money, you get quite a bit of versatility, quite a bit of strength. In this episode, we're going over this tent, we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to discuss some of the features that make this tent so strong. To begin, folks, let's do a component breakdown. So you have the storage bag, the stuff sack. The storage bag is huge and easily fits this tent. This tent features three poles. Two are the same size, one is shorter. We will talk more about these in just a minute. These are nine millimeter aluminum poles. On the inside of the pole bag, you have a replacement pole, just in case something happens. Then you have the tent stakes. And with the tent stakes, we have 12 of them. Then we have the tent body. This tent features a fly first design. So the fly is attached to the body and you can set this up, say in the rain, and you don't have to worry about the body getting wet. It's a really nice feature. All right, everyone, let's focus on the poles here for a second. Again, there are three of these. The one with the red tape is the short pole. This goes across the body. The two longer poles go from end to end. And overall, I have to say that the setup process of this tent is very easy. With this tent here, it has clips, but at the ends, there are very, very short sleeves that each of the poles sit into. I think each sleeve is about a foot long, so you don't really have to fuss about sliding the poles in. Thank God. So let's go ahead and set this up, folks. Most people really dislike pole sleeves on tents for, for a good reason. They are a pain in the ass. Plain and simple, they really are. When you have the poles all set up, let's start with the cross body. With the small pole attached, let's move over to the long ones. Now, I should have mentioned this. You can stake this out to begin with, it's up to you. In some cases, it will make things easier, especially when it's windy. Luckily right now, it's not windy. Once you have the poles in their dedicated sleeves, now it's time to clip the body to the poles. This is very simple and can be done in less than a minute. Once you have the poles buckled in, then you can move over to the top fly. Now this fly here covers up this top vent, which can be opened up from the outside and the inside. And this gives you airflow to help prevent condensation. This goes over, there's some plastic rings and it clips into those. Now this was a quick and dirty setup. I did this very fast. If I was out in the field, I would do things a little bit differently, especially if I had to. Let's say it was windy, I would stake out the body first, then put in the poles. Also, if I was out in the field right now, I would stake out the guy lines. Speaking of which, let me show you how to utilize those. You can see the section of guy line here. It attaches to the tent, just like so. If you are going to utilize this, you take it, and you wrap it and pull it through around that pole. That makes this guy line and the overall structure of this tent extremely strong. You would do this all the way around the tent. You go around the pole and then pull it through and then stake it out. When you're looking at the tent body, you can see the pole that comes across. Here on the front, next to that pole, this is the door. You have this rubberized flap that protects the zipper that keeps water and snow out. Then you can roll this up and you can get it out of the way. Once you have the door rolled away, you can now enter the body. You have a zipper that goes up, a zipper to the left, and you have a zipper that goes to the right, forming an upside down T. This is the entrance. So once you're inside of the tent, you can roll back the door if you want to, or you can do this. You can unzip the fabric wall revealing a lot of mesh. So if you're all about airflow, you can have it. Both of these flaps can be rolled up and put out of the way. 
As far as the inside of the tent goes, you have two pockets next to the front. You also have numerous loops so you can hang gear if you need to. You can also use these to set up a line so that you can dry out gear if you need to. As far as the inside of the tent goes, that's pretty much it. This is very simple, very straightforward, and this is a true one person. In an emergency, two could fit, but you better be close because you will be. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. This is a really good sized tent. You can easily sit up, change clothes. There's enough room for one person and their gear, a full size sleeping pad and so on. You have the vestibule space here. This is big enough to cook in. You will have to be careful, but there's enough space. There is no access to the other side of the tent. You have this one entrance, this one vestibule, and that's it. Before we go over the stats concerning this tent, let's talk about Helaberg as a whole. This is a company that is well known around the world. They are known for making the best of the best when it comes to four season tents. They do offer some three season tents. I personally have not tested those out, so for now, no comment. With that being said, I do have hands-on experience with multiple Helaberg tents. And now, this one. This is a single person. The company makes one person, two person, and so on. They make a wide variety of tents at multiple levels of strength. Their strongest tents are the black label. This tent is available in both black label and red label. This is the red label version. I know that sounds a little bit confusing. Allow me to explain. Starting at the very top, you have the black label. These are the strongest of tents that the company offers. If you're looking for something that's slightly less strong and lighter weight, you go to the red label. Then if you want to go down to roughly three season use, you want the lightest weight possible, that's when you go with yellow label. And with that, folks, let's go ahead and focus on the two different versions that are available of the Solo. The regular version features a Curlon 1200 with 9mm poles. The black label features a Curlon 1800 that features 10mm poles. The price of the regular version, $765. The black label version, $825. The red label tent weighs 5 pounds, 7 ounces, and that's the packed weight. The black label version is 6 pounds, 3 ounces. With the red label version, this features a Curlon 1200, as mentioned before, which is a 30 denier ripstop nylon that's been coated with three layers of silicone. It's been treated for UV resistance. The material has a tear strength of roughly 26 and a half pounds, and it features a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. The tent inner fabric is a 30 denier nylon that has a DWR treatment. The floor is a 70 denier nylon triple poly urethane coated 15,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating just so you know the black label version with the Curlon 1800 that has a tear strength of roughly 40 pounds both versions will feature YKK zippers you have three aluminum poles 12 stakes and the guy lines with both tents have a breaking strength of 132 pounds it doesn't matter which version that you decide to go with there are three colors available green red and sand and the dimensions are the same for each these tents are 86 inches long they have a peak height of 37 inches and the inside body is 41 inches wide at the widest point. Now that we have the specs out of the way, let's talk about what makes this a good four season tent. First off, strength. The quality of the materials, the poles, the guy lines, everything about this tent was built for strength. And if you need something even stronger, you can go up to the black label. My experiences with Helaberg have only been with red label tents. They are strong enough to handle just about anything that I can put them through. My experiences in the past have been in blizzards in winds over 50 miles an hour. I've never had any sort of problems. Even in ice storms with tons and tons of weight on top of these tents, I've never had an issue. With the Solo, I have not gotten this out into a winter storm yet, that's coming up. Again, folks, this is a preview. But overall, my experiences with Helaberg, these tents are tough as nails. The company knows what they're doing. And there's a reason why the company is so well regarded. There's a reason why it's almost impossible to find one of these tents right now. Yes, there's a shortage, but if you go out looking for lesser quality four season tents, you can find them. You cannot find Helaberg products right now. They're sold out everywhere. Everywhere has a waiting list. And we should talk about that. With this episode here, I'm going over this information because I'm going to begin testing this out. I wanna get this information out there concerning this tent so it's on your radar. So when it comes available, you can make a decision for yourself whether or not this is a good fit for you. Also, you never know, you may find a used one on eBay, Gear Trade, and so on. With this being a four season tent, you have the strong materials. The fly goes all the way to the ground, so you don't have to worry about blowing snow and wind drafts. The tent inner is made from fabric, so it holds in heat, it blocks wind, it blocks snow, and those are factors that you need to look for when it comes to a four season tent. You can get a mesh inner, which converts this into a three season tent. I wanna get my hands on one of those so bad, but they are sold out everywhere. 
I can't find one. As this tent stands here, I do not want to use this in the warmer months because of the fabric inner. In warmer locations, it would be so incredibly hot inside of this in the summertime, you couldn't stand it. Even with the mesh exposed, it still would be very, very hot. Before I wrap up this episode, I want to share with you all my thoughts about this product so far. Again, this is a preview. My review will be coming up in the future. What I like to do with every product that I test out here on the channel. First off, it's agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. I purchase this with my own money. Next, I take every product out into the field. I test it out over and over and over and over. And I will do so here on the channel. You will see adventures with this product out in the wild. You will see this going through storms, through snow, through wind, through rain. You will see this thing being tested out. And I do that with every single product that I review here on the channel. I do not do mailbox reviews, backyard reviews. In fact, here at Lone Wolf Mountain, we are out in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina along the Virginia and Tennessee border. This is where I do a lot of gear testing. This is 50 miles away from my house at high elevation. So we see a lot of rain, a lot of wind, a lot of snow here. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see this tent in action and ultimately my review. Impression number one, the quality is amazing. This tent feels amazing. When you hold this product in your hand, you know that you have something special. You know that you have something strong and burly. You can tell. Inside, there's plenty of space for one person, two person, and a pinch. You have the fly first design so you can set this up in the rain and the inner does not get wet. Next up, this tent is 100% freestanding. As you can see, it's all set up. Not a single stake has been used. Oftentimes when it comes to four season tents, they will claim to be freestanding, but they're not 100% freestanding. This is, so you can set this up on top of rocks if you need to, and you don't have to worry about staking out the vestibule or the door. When it comes to this setup, it's very fast, very quick. You do have a good amount of space between the body and the vestibule. Again, Again, there's enough space for your gear or you can cook inside of this. Something else that should be mentioned with this tent, a second pair of tent poles can be added to make it even stronger. One con that I have for this tent are the tent poles. They are exposed. So these are exposed to snow, ice, and rain. So in some situations, these can freeze together. I've had that happen. It's a real pain in the you know what? It's one of those things if the pole sections are froze together, you have to warm them up so you can take the poles and break them down. That can take some time. That is a trade-off. When you're using clips, you have the easy setup, right? But the poles are exposed. If you have the sleeves, you have a more complicated setup, but the poles are protected. Having the exposed poles, that is a con. Now another pro is a lifetime warranty. If you purchase this product brand new, you are guaranteed a lifetime of use with proper care. These tents are incredibly strong. They can handle a ton of use and they will. And that's what you should expect for such a high price tag. There's no doubt about it. This is a very expensive tent. So right there you have it, everyone. That is our first look at the Solo from Heliberg. So far, my experiences have been excellent. They really have been, but I haven't pushed this tent to its limits yet. I'm going to with snow, wind, and rain. I wanna find out specifically how waterproof is this tent? A hydrostatic head rating is one thing, but it doesn't always translate to a waterproof product. It really does boil down to the quality. It's the quality that truly matters. The hydrostatic head rating oftentimes doesn't really mean that much. A trash bag has an amazing high hydrostatic head rating, but it's not something that you want to use as a tent. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. I know plenty of you have experience with Helibergs and also the Solo tents. What are your pros and cons for this product? What are some of your experiences with the solo tent. Comment down below. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel support if you want to. Again, the Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not here to sell products. I'm here to share information and adventures and to inspire, and that's it. Be well, take care, be kind, strength and honor. Bye for now. <laughs>